Randolph County is the southernmost area on the Kaskaskia Cahokia Trail, and it's full of some wonderful outdoor adventures mixed with a great deal of history. One of the most amazing historical sites is Fort de Chart, a French fortification originally built in 1720. The fort has been rebuilt several times over the years due to flooding. The powder magazine on the site is considered to be the oldest building in the state of Illinois. There is also a museum on the grounds for visitors to experience while they're enjoying Fort de Chart. Two years after the fort was built, the village of Prairie de Rocher was established nearby. It's home to the Creole House, which was built around 1800 and is on the National Register of Historic Places. This beautiful home now features period antiques and other pieces to see while you're exploring the site. Further south along the Kaskaskia Cahokia Trail, there is a bluff that has been used as a shelter by inhabitants as far back as 9,000 years ago. The Modoc Rock Shelter is a national historic landmark and is certainly worth a visit. After experiencing the rock shelter, folks can take a scenic ride across the St. Genevieve Modoc River Ferry. It's used by local residents in their vehicles as well as truck drivers, but it also welcomes visitors to ride across the Mississippi River as pedestrians. The Kaskaskia River Recreation Area and Jerry F. Costello Lock and Dam are another key stop along the trail. Folks are welcome to view the barges and tows passing through, which is always fun to see. And there is also a short trail that leads to a wonderful area to view the confluence of the Kaskaskia and Mississippi rivers. The next stop as you head south on the trail is the Pierre Menard Home and Fort Kaskaskia in Ellis Grove. While the structure of Fort Kaskaskia was destroyed in 1763, this site is still very significant and it provides an amazing scenic view of where the Kaskaskia and Mississippi rivers meet. The Pierre Menard home was built by Illinois' first lieutenant governor in the 1800s and it is one of the finest examples of French architecture in the Midwest. It too is on the National Register of Historic Places and it's open for visitors starting in May through the summer months. The nearby community of Chester is known as the hometown of Popeye the Sailor Man because it is the birthplace of Popeye's creator, E.C. Seagram. Throughout town, you will find murals to enjoy and even spinach can collectibles, where you can buy a wide array of Popeye souvenirs. There are also several statues placed throughout Chester of Popeye and other characters from his stories. This character trail makes for a great scavenger hunt for visitors. The southernmost point of the Kaskaskia Cahokia Trail is Kaskaskia Island, which is actually an exclave of the state of Illinois. The only way to get to Kaskaskia Island is to cross into Missouri. This exclave is the result of the river channel changing course in the 1930s. Here you will find the Kaskaskia Bell State Memorial. This bell was forged in France and given to the colonists of the original village of Kaskaskia in 1741. It's commonly referred to as the Liberty Bell of the West. The Kaskaskia Cahokia Trail is a 60 mile journey full of history, fun, and memories to be made. Keep an eye out for our videos featuring St. Clair and Monroe counties, which highlight even more adventures. See you on the trail.